I'm so Italy. All right, so it is Japan Month yes. here on Beauty News. We've been doing a lot of Japan-based content, yep. um, showing you guys stuff that we bought, we bought and things, testing and, out and stuff, stuff, makeup and, breaker, makeup break up Yes, um, all the things we bought in Japan. Yep. Um, and I did something in Japan that's a little bit embarrassing, especially when you. <laughs> See how many I got, mm -hmm. uh, but I went Kit Kat crazy. So if you're not aware, <laughs> Japan is notorious for having really interesting mm -hmm. Kit Kat flavors. Yes, and you can buy them everywhere. Everywhere. They're and really the cool thing is, it's not like you go to a store and they're all there. Like yeah. one store might have three or four different flavors, but then you go to another store and they've got three or four completely different flavors. So mm -hmm. by the time we left Japan, even at the airport, I bought four different flavors. So I don't actually know how many we've got in here, but it's a lot. It's a lot. And they're all different. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we've got a little bag here, a little bag of Kit Kat. We are going to Lucky Dip and we're going to try them. Yeah. So would you like to go first? Sure. Let's go for it. Ooh. All right, this one is the Sakura and Roasted, roasted soybean. soybean. So that's Ooh. interesting. Open it up. Open Let's it up. take a look. So it just looks like a white Kit Kat. Yeah. I also like that these are minis. So do I. I'm the thinking kit. there's going to be major sugar overload. Yes. So we're, we're going to have water. Some fucking sugar shakes after this. Yep. Oh, it smells good. It does. It smells it's, almost peanutty. It does. It does. Ready? It tastes like white chocolate Kit Kat. <laughs> it does. It With like a little bit of sesame. A little bit of a nuttiness. Yeah. But there is a tiny floral hint in there as well. Can you taste that? Not really. No? It's, it's definitely like a nutty powder, like yeah. an almond meal or something. Yeah. It does. It tastes a little bit almondy. Mm. It's nice. I like it. It is nice. Good. It's not as sweet as normal Kit Kats as well. Yes, it's actually, I found that most of the desserts in Japan were not overly yeah. sweet, which yeah. I loved. Yeah, yeah, makes it easier to eat a lot of them. It does. Ooh, oh, what are we? Oh, premium mint. All, All right, right. chocolate mint. So this yes, is exciting. this is going to be interesting. Let's give it a go. Oh, is that it's dark, dark chocolate? Not good for you. Nope. <laughs> oh well. <I'm> <laughs> I've already got a headache, so it's <laughs> fine. It's absolutely fine. It can only get worse from here. Yeah. So dark chocolate, mint. Yeah. Can smell the mint. Oh, it's so good. It's like after dinner mints. Oh. oh, and it's green inside. Mm-hmm. It's minty. It's chocolatey. Mm-hmm. Um, it tastes like what are those mint? Mint oh, slice. Like mint slice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, but not once again. Not, not as sweet. sweet. There, I love no, that. There's no cream in there to make yep. it too sweet. It's like an after dinner mint or a mint slice, minus the extra sugar. Extra sugar. Mm, um, I really like it. Should we rate them? Yes, that was like. I would give that like a nine out of ten for me. Yeah, I would as well because yeah. I love choc mint. Mm -hmm. I reckon the original, what the first one that we yep. tried, I would give maybe. A five because for me it was just a bit bland. Okay, I would probably give it like a seven yeah. because I actually really love nutty flavored yeah. things. So, but it's like an aftertaste of nut. It's not like nut nut. nut no. Nut. Oh, I got two. No, let's go oh. one. Oh, now Ooh. there's actually another one that goes with this, so I'm gonna switch it out. Here it is. So oh, these yeah. actually came packed like this, Individual so in a box ones. and. One is white, Ooh. which is actually this one. Okay. And I think that one's meant to be like a dark chocolate. And now, it looks like it's almond and yes. some form of berry. Yes. And that's what's interesting because I think, I don't know what kind of berry this is. Is that, it's not a cranberry, is or it? Or a Logan berry or something. Maybe. Yeah. But a pat, these look like they might actually have something on top on of top. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. They feel rough. Like, they do. Textured. Yeah. Let's, Let's open, open them up. up. So these have really pretty stuff pressed yeah. into the top. I like it. Yeah. It looks like high-end chocolate. It does. It looks like fancy. fancy. And it's good that I got the dark because you prefer white chocolate. I do. So let's try Won't give out. me a headache. Those berries taste like something. Mm. 
almost like an alcohol, like a do you know liqueur. Because this is like a this is like a fruit and nut. Genre. Okay, that's different. Okay. I don't think you like that one. I don't like that. You don't like that? No, that's really. nice. Let's give it a go. Mm. Completely different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It tastes that, like some sort of liqueur, kind of. It's like those chocolates with the cherry liqueur in it. Yes. I fucking hate yeah. them. Whereas Definitely one, like that. Yeah. Whereas that's fruit and nut. This is. It's like dark fruit and nut, so mm-hmm. it's got that beautiful bitterness. Yeah, and it works with better the, with the nuts. It this does. is definitely like those strawberry, the yeah. cherry liqueur chocolates. Yeah. And also, I feel like the chocolate on that was sweeter. Yeah. Kind of like what we would typically have in Australia. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I prefer the dark one. Me too. What do we give them? Um, I would give the dark one probably a six or a seven. Yeah. Around there. White one, maybe like a three. Yeah, I'd probably give the the white one probably still a five. Yes. Yeah. I'd, Not I'd eat it, but I wouldn't yeah. buy it again. Um, and I'll probably give the dark one seven. All right. All right. Here we go. Ah, these are interesting. So I actually had to make a note about this. So I believe this is cookies and ice cream flavor or cookies and cream ice cream. All right. And it's so got... cookies and cream is not enough. It's going to be cookies and ice cream. Uh, well, cookies and cream it's ice funny cream. because there's another one in here, maybe even two, mm. where it's got ice blocks on it. So I don't know if these are meant to have a cooling feeling in the mouth. I don't know, Let's but see. we're gonna we're gonna have a go. We're gonna go. It's very buttery. It is. And kind of sweet. Yeah. As in sweet that it's like enough to hurt my teeth. It's really sweet. I don't. I don't like the butteriness. I don't mind the butteriness, but I'm not. It's too sweet. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah, I'll give it a four as well. To me, maybe I'll give it a three. To me, it's like you've mixed cookies and cream chocolate with, with a butter. bar of butter. <laughs> it does taste like that. Not my favourite. No, not my favourite either. I believe this is raspberry Ooh, flavoured. Raspberry, I'm excited for. So, this should be interesting. Oh, it's Ooh, pink. pink. It's actually pink. That's cute. Oh, and it smells like zingy. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's got the freeze-dried raspberries yep. in it, so they're really, like, tangy and yep. almost popping in your mouth. Almost like sherbet-y. Yum, mm. yum, yum. Mm. And not too sweet. Yeah. Yummy. So white chocolate, but that tartness really cuts through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, lo- I think that's actually my favourite. That's my favourite, too. Yeah. Like, that's like a raspberry sherbet chocolate. It's really nice, Yum. but not too sweet. I, I give that a 10. 10. Yeah, I agree. That one's great. Yum. This is a strawberry cheesecake. Mmm. Who comes? Pat loves strawberries. I do. Oh, it's white. It's oh, white. I can smell the strawberry. Not as good as the raspberry. Nah. Because it's too sweet. Yeah, I agree. But the strawberry flavor is actually quite subtle, and then mm-hmm. I feel like it gets a bit stronger. I give it like a 7. See, I'd give it more of a 6. Fair enough. Because it's too sweet. But too sweet. And not enough strawberry. Mm, but actually, right. I agree with that. Mm. It's something like, I would eat it. Yeah. I won't buy it again. Yeah. If it was on sale, I'd buy it again. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's definitely if you want to punch a sugar. Yeah. This is actually the oven bake one. So, okay. this is a butter cookie flavor. And what you do is you pop these in the oven, I believe. I don't know what temperature, but it's going to fucking wing it. What yep. else? And um, it like caramelizes on the top oh. and then you, you eat it. Okay, should we put this in the oven? How does it smell? Buttery. It does smell buttery. So okay. we're going to go put it in the oven. We'll be back. Oh my God, it actually, like it smells good. Oh, it smells so Ow. buttery and delicious. And hot. Ow, fuck. <laughs> oh. oh God. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Oh, it's on fire. Oh. <laughs> it's crumbly. Too it sweet. Butter cookie flavor. Yeah. And yes, butter. Yes, yeah, cookie. A little bit cookie ish. Yeah. Yes. Way too sweet. Mm. Like. But the taste is good. I don't mind the whole heating uh, thing. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of cool. like fun. A little bit different. Too sweet. Too sweet for me. I give that like a. Yeah, five. Mm. 
Ah, now this... Is the fancy green tea, isn't it? Yes, it is definitely the fancy green tea. So I have two matcha flavours in here. Mm. One was like premium, that's yep. this one, and then there was like a standard one. So yep. let's open this I'm up. I'm curious about like what the difference... Maybe we should try the standard one after this so yep. we can see what the difference is. So, you so can... they look the same, yep. but the packaging is like... Slightly different. Yeah, the, the premium's darker. Yes. So... Oh, I love matcha flavored things. So oh, I'm very excited. Smells like matcha. And you can see this one is speckled and, and a little lighter. bit lighter. This one is more of a sol solid green. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Do we go standard first? Sure. Let's, do, Let's it. do it. Standard. If these were sold permanently in Australia, I'd buy them all the time. Do well here. Yeah. They're starting to bring matcha flavored things yeah. out slowly. Mm. And this doesn't have the bitter aftertaste that matcha can mm -hmm. have, which I think is maybe something that some people don't like about it. I think it's got a good balance because yeah. matcha needs quite a bit of sweetness to like lift it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost like adding salt to a savoury dish really like enhances the flavour if it's got some sugar. Yeah. So I think that's a good balance. Yeah. I agree. I like All it. All right. Premium. Cool. Oh, I like that one. This is much stronger with the matcha. I think it's, a, it's definitely a bit stronger in the sense that it's got that the bitterness. slight bitterness yeah. and less sweetness. But I think it's more smooth. Yeah, I would agree. Mm. I think I think that's better. Yeah, I like it more. Yeah. This one, the premium one, I give it like an eight. Mm. Plain matcha, like mm. normal. Maybe like a seven. Yeah, I'd probably give a little bit below. I'd give the premium like a nine, and maybe the normal an eight. Mm -hmm. I love matcha flavored yeah. things, so I like them both. But the premium one is that a little bit better. It's more punchy. It's a lot of Kit Kats, man. It is. Ooh, oh, this okay. Is a fun one. So we went to an island yeah. off Hiroshima. Yeah. And um. Essentially, on that island, they have deer yeah, and, a, and shrine. A, a shrine that is sort in of water. out in the water. And I went to a, like, I don't know, gift shop, souvenir mm -hmm. shop, and they had these Kit Kats, which are actually, let me find the list. So, it's called Momiji Manju. I don't know what that means, mm -hmm. but it looks like maple leaves. Yeah. So, I think for that area um their sort of regional yeah delicacy or biscuits. specialty yes is, are these yeah leaf shaped biscuits with a filling in mm -hmm. it so that's from that area that was yeah. a nice place to it go was to. beautiful yeah. yeah so i'm interested in this well, deer were good, very friendly they were very friendly mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, oh that's cute yeah so you'll have to see a close-up of this it's really pretty it's kind of like a it's good. Oh, it's leaf design broke better than I expected. Yeah, and it's got a like. Oh, it smells oh, like plants. Jesus. Like, it does smell like plants. All right, let's All give right. it a go. Okay, it's definitely not maple. No, <laughs> unless it's maple leaf. It actually tastes like plants. It does. I'm gonna say the smell is worse than the taste. Yep, I agree because the white chocolate sort of makes that bark. Yep. Flavor, <laughs> flavor, a little bit more Go palatable. Away. It actually does. It tastes like the smell of plants. It is a type of steamed bun. Yeah. And it is famous in places like Miyajima, which is where we went. Yeah. Um, Lovely island. Oh, Check beautiful, it out. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a sweet steamed bun, but it's basically like it contains a bean jam filling. Yeah. And yeah, I would believe that. Yeah, so these also, the sort of taste reminds me, and the look of these buns as well, sort of remind me a little bit of the Chinese, like the moon bun type things. It's like sweet, but sort of not. It yeah. kind of tastes a bit savoury, but it's... Yeah. Anyway, th imagine that in a Kit Kat form with like yeah. a red bean, and yeah. it's sort of, it's a bit weird. Interesting. Yeah, what do you give it? Uh, I give it a five. I didn't hate it. I can eat them. Yep. But uh, I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah, I'd probably give it a four. Yep. Because I it's think interesting. Yeah, I think it's potentially 
um, not an acquired taste because they don't taste bad. Yeah. But I think because it's not something that like I grew up eating. Used to. Yeah, exactly. It's not something I'm used to, so it's kind of yeah, yeah. it's different. But it's edible. It definitely. And it tastes better than it smells. Yes. <laughs> yes. Strawberry Sunday. Ooh, I'm excited. Yay! Let's give it a go. Come Ooh. on. Oh, please have those bits in it. Yeah, this one please looks more delicious. up my alley. So this has like the little mm. chunks of strawberry potentially. I hope so. I hope they're freeze-dried strawberries They look brown. There. They do. But the filling mm. looks pink. It does. Gets there in the end. Yeah. A little bit of like a slightly tangy strawberry flavor, but nothing like the raspberry mm. one. Yeah, so this one tastes a little bit more like nicer than the strawberry cheesecake one because it's more strawberry and less sweet. Yes. Um, I would give that... Yeah, I'd give that a seven. I'd give it a seven. Yeah. 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 Nowhere near... Definitely the winners at the moment match the mint one and the raspberry one. Raspberry's winning raspberry's it for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go another strawberry. Excellent. I'm curious give it a go. Ooh. It's pink. Yeah. The raspberry one was pink. It was. Let's Cheers. get excited. It's got an almost plastic strawberry taste to it. It's like strawberry perfume. Yes. It is. It's, it's not it's like artificial to the max. Yeah. It's really sweet. Mm. It's and a almost little bit floral. Yeah. Mm. It's very, very strawberry, mm. like intense strawberry flavour. Uh, I feel like almost like the chocolate's a little bit powdery almost. I think I'm getting sick of white chocolate. Yeah. I don't actually mind that one. I would eat it again. Mm -hmm. Almost like a tea taste to mm. it as well. Yeah. I almost feel like that's more of a refreshing strawberry because it's yeah. got the tea. I don't mind that. I'm actually going to, the more I think about it, the more I like it. I'm going to give it a six. It's not my favorite because it was too sweet for me. I'm going to give it a seven. I think it's all right. I not like bad. strawberry, mm -hmm. and I think the the weird perfume tea flavor <laughs> it's fucking to it. different. I can say that yeah. for sure. Yeah, makes it a little bit fresher. <laughs> this one is Shinshu Apple. That's bizarre. This is crazy. This is one I found at the airport. This All is right. cool. I wow. like this one. Oh wow! Holy oh, fuck! <laughs> it's like a punch in the face of apple. When it mixes <laughs> with the chocolate, it goes a bit weird. That chocolate has a really intense cocoa flavor. Mm. Chocolate almost tastes like a dark chocolate after the apple flavor subsides. Mm. That's a roller coaster, that one. That is a party in my mouth that I didn't want to be invited to. <laughs> Look, That's crazy. I don't mind that one. I think the, the, how true that apple tastes, like it's like apple juice. It is. Really good. Mixing with the chocolate. Not so good. Not so great. I'm going to give it an eight because mm. I actually love that it's really different. Yeah. And the apple and the chocolate flavors are intense and yep. true. And it does weird things in your yeah. mouth. And it's kind of cool. It's cool. If you're going to talk about novelty Kit Kats, that's a good one. Absolutely. I'm going to give you seven. All right. There we Alrighty. Go. Another green one. This is... Melon. Hokkaido melon. Ooh. Yep. Oh! And it's yellow. Wow. Not really. <laughs> I like it. I love melon. So I'm excited about this. Oh, so yum, 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 yum. Okay. It's almost like a melon lip balm. Mmm. Oh. Tastes like melon lip balm. Mmm. <laughs> I love it. That would be great. That's good. That's one. fantastic. Really sweet, though. Mmm. It is. But that's a good. I love that. It's like a rock melon. Yum. It literally tastes like a rock melon. Like yep. a really good, fresh rock melon. But in your mouth, you've got like crunchy bits and chocolate, and like it's strange. Yep. But the flavor is awesome. Yep. I, I give like that, that a ten. I love that. See, I'll give that a uh, eight because mm. I was just like, if I had more of that, I'd be like, my teeth Way would rot right right away. Yeah. It is but sweet. It's nice. But I love that flavor. I've noticed that the ones that I like the most have a bit of like tang or yep. bitterness to it. Yeah. Cuts out some of that sweetness. sweetness. But that one's really nice. Mm. It's cool. Cool. All right. Last Ooh. one. No, it's not actually. We've got one more after this. This, I don't know what this is. I think it it's might a just be one. a dark chocolate. Mystery black one. Yeah. Mystery black. Let's give it a go. It's very, oh. very dark chocolate. And it's 
got like little black flecks in it. Can you see that? Yeah. It looks almost like a cookies and cream oh, dark chocolate one. It smells really, really dark. Yeah, like, it does smell really dark. What is that? I don't know. It. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like dark chocolate with a fuckload of milk chocolate. I don't know. It's got that grittiness. It's really strange. It does. I don't know what that is. I like the grittiness. It has a good mouth feel to mm-hmm. it. I want to Google what this is because it's confusing. It's like a smooth dark chocolate. Like the taste is smooth, mm. but it's got a grittiness of like something. Mm. But I like it. It's interesting. And it's almost the kind of thing that you can imagine sitting down with like a scotch. Yes. And being like, this is like a sophisticated yep. Kit Kat. That would go really well with coffee as well. Yeah. All right. After a bit of research, that's supposed to be the black adult version of a Kit Kat. So yeah. it's supposed to be, yeah, more of an adult taste, but yeah. it's just a dark chocolate. I don't know what the grit is. No. But it's almost like a really fine charcoal. Mm-hmm. I Something like, like that. Yeah, I like it. It gives a cool mouthfeel. Yeah, um, I really like the mouthfeel. Some yeah. of that grittiness I really like. I give it a nine. I'd give it a nine too. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and you can nom on a few of those with a coffee. Absolutely, not too sweet. Not too sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I like All it. Right. Last one. It is the last one. Ooh. Do you what know is what one? that is? Take a guess. I found it at the airport and she got excited. Is this wasabi? Yeah, this is one of the yes. flavors. Yes! This flavor and the apple flavor were the ones that I had to leave the line for, and the man let me back. I'm so glad we're doing wasabi last, to be honest. This is cool. I'm like, that kind of looks like wasabi. Yeah. Ooh, the green is really appetizing. It's like fluoro green. Look at it. Does it smell like wasabi? No, it smells like... Oh. Oh. Like a sherbet-y... I think it smells like onions. No, to me it smells like... Strawberry Nest Quick. Oh yeah, it does too. Yeah, Strawberry Nest Quick. That's crazy. Yeah, oh please don't taste like Strawberry Nest Quick. How fucking disappointing. But it does, smells just like Strawberry Nest Quick. All right, I'm doing it all yeah. at once. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so good. How do they do that? That was a smart one. Because it has the wow. little hit of wasabi, but it still stays sweet. Yeah. Usually wasabi, it's quite oh my God. Like savory. Yeah. But this is like subtle. It's not like burning, so you won't get people. No, like, it doesn't burn. We it's love not hot at all. We love wasabi. We were getting like wasabi chips yeah. that like make your eyes cry yeah. and they're great. But so it's not like when that I all. put that all in my mouth, I was expecting wasabi burn. And I actually love wasabi burn, yeah, so which I. is why I was like, mmm, all in there at once. Mm. And as I was tasting, like the wasabi flavor is, mm. it's there. You can taste it. I was expecting a burn to come. It never came. No. That was a little bit sad. However, people who don't taste. like a burn will be absolutely fine to eat that because it doesn't burn at all. And the interesting thing about it as well, if you haven't eaten much wasabi because you yep. don't like the burn... This is how you can taste the taste yes. of wasabi yep. without having that burn. Yep. I really like it. Clever. Yeah. I think it was a little bit too sweet. sweet. I agree. Um, especially towards the end. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give it a nine. Same. But I love that. I love that. That was so, so good. clever. That I'm was a so... lot more like, ple- like, I love wasabi. So I was yeah. happy to get like a punch in the face of wasabi. But yeah. that was a really pleasant kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pleasant wasabi experience. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That was Ooh. great. So, which one, if you could only choose one, which one would you choose? Oh, that's hard because I'd def- if I had to buy one in the shop, it'd be mm-hmm. the raspberry one, yeah. hands down. If you could only ever have one ever again, one flavor? I'd probably... Oh, see, the thing is, I think the, the wasabi one is so Japanese to me that mm-hmm. I'm like, I kind of like that. Same as the good quality green tea one. I'm yeah. like, they are good if you want to think about Japan yeah. and have that Japanese taste yeah but to, for me if I was going to the shops there'd be two that I'd buy mm-hmm. the raspberry one with the tang and the mint chocolate one. Mm. Oh, and the dark chocolate dark chocolate was nice for me if I could only choose one mm. it would be the raspberry the one raspberry because I felt like that was the perfect balance of creaminess really crunchiness sweet 
tang, yeah. interesting mouthfeel. For me, that was like it hit all the right points. Yeah, so I love that one too. That yeah, was great. Love it. Mm, interesting. That was fun. That was fun. How are you feeling? Got sugar sugar shakes? No, I'm just like I'm ready to climb the wall. I'm like I want to <laughs> eat some more. Before we go, we do have one last thing. This is not a Kit Kat. This is a Tokyo banana. Mm. Now, it is tradition in Japan when you travel to wherever you're going, whichever city you're going to, they have like a a dessert. Yeah. So we saw the um, that leaf. The leaf one was like Hiroshima from, area. Yeah, Miyajima, uh, and Tokyo has a Tokyo banana. Yeah. So I bought some of these and I took them home and I have tried these. Are they nice? I like them. Okay. Cool. I think they're interesting. They look like they would be. What are those um, American things? Oh, Twinkies? Twinkies. Is they that look what, like, they look is that like what, Twinkies. Yeah, I wonder if that's what a Twinkie is like. We haven't tried we Twinkies. Twinkies yeah. so we don't have them here. Oh, yeah. So, have a go. Let me know what you think. Mm. It's got like a pureed banana. It's a banana custard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not very sweet. No. For me, this reminds me a lot of a lot, like, many, like, Asian desserts that... They have like a custard, but it's not mm. very sweet. It's mm -hmm. almost it's like good. a jelly mm -hmm. thing going yep. on. Like a paste. Yep. I agree. Like the red bean paste is like a banana paste. Yep. I like it. I like that the sponge is nice and soft. Mm. Do you know what would be nice if you poured like alcohol in this? Mm hmm. If you made a tiramisu out of them. Yum, mm -hmm. yum, yum. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um,. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you tried any weird Kit Kat flavors, yeah. let us know down in the comments. Let us know if there were any in this video you saw that you would love to try. Yep. And um, we will see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.